and welcome back to the quarry garden and happy new year and if you're anything like me you're probably desperate to get back out into the garden and it's at last stop raining we've had rain oh it seems for months i think it probably has been for months we've had very few dry days but today it's been a bit windy earlier on the temperatures are around about 8 to 11 degrees um, mid 40s to um, low 50s in um, Fahrenheit so you can actually get out here an awful lot to work as long as you don't mind working in all of this mud and down here in the bottom of the quarry is particularly muddy. Anyhow back to what I'm doing today I'm going to add some ferns and some daffodils to this bank side. Now this is a bank side that I started last spring and I removed quite a few tree seedlings um, and also added a few ferns, I think it was three or four ferns, a couple of deciduous and a couple of evergreen and I'll pan around and show you that in a moment. But that's as far as I got. I did add a few foxgloves in the, um, I think it was early summer that I had grown in pots. I'd hoped that they would self-seed around, but I've seen no visible signs yet of anything growing, so I'm not quite sure if that's worked. But that's all I'm going to add to this bank side because behind you, behind the camera, is the woodland. So I want to keep this quite natural. So it'll just be ferns and then daffodils for now in the spring. So my focus over the last few weeks has been to remove all of the brambles, still got a little bit more to go, all of the brambles and the weeds on this section and I've started to expose all of the sandstone, the layered sandstone at the, at the top here. It's pretty wet and green so it's hard probably to tell from the camera. Um, and then this section I've been removing an awful lot of brambles, brambles everywhere in this garden, or oh, certainly down here, awful lot of these brambles which I've been digging out. And as I've gone along to dig holes to plant bulbs, I'm having to remove an awful lot of stone which is just lying pretty loose on the surface. Because on this section, the soil is only about an inch deep, not very deep. And if I'm digging into it, I'm having to remove stone to put some bulbs in. So what do I do with this stone? It's causing a bit of a problem. Because obviously everywhere where I dig here in the quarry, I'm now um, having to remove stone. Now the larger pieces of stone I'm using as edging for the paths, which is really good because the, um, the, the logs that I've got edging the path now are all starting to rot because it's so wet here all the time. They don't last very long. So large stones um, are starting now to appear around the edges of the path. But all of this very thin layered sandstone, let's see if I can show you a piece here. It's all very thin layers, beautiful stone. And I obviously don't want to get rid of it because at some point in time I will more than likely want to build something with it, some sort of structure here in the bottom of the quarry or in the top quarry garden somewhere. Walls, I don't know, so I don't really want to obviously get rid of it. And to get rid of it as well would be a hard job because I only have a wheelbarrow and it's pretty tough to try and lift and carry and move this kind of stone around. It's a lot of weight. So I've come up with a plan. I don't know what this is going to look like. But in between these two trees, I'm going to try and construct um, a dry stone wall or a stack stone wall. Um, only about one to two feet in height, depending on what it looks like. I'm going to try it between these two trees. I mean, the stone here is obviously all around here, so it shouldn't look too much out of place. And I'll see what it looks like. And then around it, behind it, I'm going to add some evergreen ferns and some more daffodils. So that's where I'm up to. But let me show you the ferns and what daffodils I've picked to go on this section of the bank side. So the first fern that I'm going to add to this bank side is a Sertonium. Otherwise commonly known as the Japanese holly fern or just as a holly fern. But it's not prickly like holly. Not prickly at all. And it has these lovely arching fronds and it's got a lovely deep green colour very pretty fern. It's a small evergreen, fully hardy fern here in the UK. Hardiness rating minus 5 to minus 10 in a sheltered spot. So most winters it will stay evergreen here in the UK. And I'm going to add them to this bank side because they're native to Asia and that's where they flourish on small mountains, hillsides. Um, in Japan, in China, they commonly grow um, in the ditches along the roadside. So they do like moist conditions, but well-draining soil. 
So I think here on this bank side mimics where it actually grows in its native countries. Very small fern, doesn't grow very big, anything from 18 inches to 2 feet. So I think I'll group them together to get bigger impact. So that's the first fern. The second one is Dryopteris and it's Christa the King. Now I love this fern and I've got it elsewhere in the quarry garden. And this is a very large fern, grows three feet in height, three feet in width. And again, it stays evergreen here in the UK, very hardy, down to minus 15. Um, so this again should do really well in this sheltered spot. Likes um, partial to full shade, this particular one. As does this um, holly fern. If you have it out in bright sunlight, the leaves have a tendency to go yellow and that's a sure sign that it needs to be planted in partial or full shade. doesn't like to be out in bright sunlight. Although saying that, I have seen people use them in pots um, with bedding in the summer months. So I think it's um, you have to try these things to see how well they do in your own garden. But certainly here it's going to be planted in what will be when the leaf canopy um, is in full bloom from April, May time, it'll be in full shade. So I'm going to plant those there on the bank side and also around where I'm going to build this uh, stack stone wall. Now let me show you the daffodils that I've got. Now the daffodils that I've been planting are um, just basic yellow trumpet style daffodils. I think the variety was Fortune, so I've been planting those. But I've also got some what I call specialist um, narcissus. And these ones are called Butterfly, a butterfly collection. Never had these before. And they're very frilly flowers, not like the normal trumpet yellow daffodils that you get. These come in flowers of um, white, yellow, salmon, apricot, orange, so a big variety of colours. And they have um, whirls of ruffled petals. So I think they should be really pretty here on this bankside, give a lot of brightness. And the reason why I think I'm going to love these, I've got several bags of them, because I got them free. The garden centre that I actually um, buy a lot of plants from are really good garden centre. And when it comes to the end of um, the season, such as these spring flowering bulbs, you actually get them for free. You buy a plant and you'll get a, a packet of bulbs free. So they're really good. So these are going to get mixed in with the yellow uh, fortune daffodils that I've already planted. So now let's get down to it. I'm probably going to start first of all with the stack stone wall. Don't know how far I'll get today with that. I'll get the basis of it in. Um, again, it's, it's not going to be held together with any form of um, cement or aggregate or anything like that. It's just going to be basically stacked one on top of the other. So I'll see how it goes and then I'll add the ferns.
Okay, it's a few days later and it's very breezy today. We've had a lot of rain overnight, so it's incredibly slippy. So I'm not going to move about too much, but it's done. First job of 2023 and I've built a wall. As you can tell, I'm probably just tickled pink with it. Where it'll stand the test of time, I've no idea. But for now, it takes care of a pile of rubble to make a feature. And I've planted the ferns behind it so they will soften it eventually. And then I've planted more ferns up the side with a lot more daffodils. And it's the beginning. And the garden's evolving and I'll add to it more as time goes on. But I'm pleased with the end result. Now I'll bring you in a little bit closer and you can see the ferns. So I mentioned earlier that I would just pan round to give you an idea of what this um, whole bank side looks like. So the side you're looking at now is what I started last spring, added a few ferns. This time around I've added daffodils and I think that should really brighten this area up. You can probably see from the bamboo canes where I've added them. And then moving on to what I started this week and it's been adding all of these lovely evergreen ferns on this side, the Japanese holly fern, the dryopteris. One thing I'll add is not to plant obviously in ground that's frozen or if you've got bad um, temperatures, bad weather coming your way, best not plant. But for now it's pretty mild here and I've added some daffodil bulbs around these tree roots and I thought I'd stand here just to give you an idea of scale of what this bank side actually looks like and it's quite steep so it's not the easiest to work in. But that's it, first job complete for 2023. And I'd just like to say a special thank you to everyone who continues to watch and support the channel. And there's more winter jobs to come. So before I get blown away off this bank side, I'll say bye for now and see you soon.